Hey there, everyone. It's amazing our prehistory, what was going on there. Look here at the arches of Urgchek. I even checked the pronunciation. Urgchek. This is it, Urgchek. Here we are in uh, Urgchek, Algeria. And uh, as you can see, it's part of the big fish formation. I mean, what does that look like? A squid? I think it looks like a squid with an eyeball and a beak and a, a, a snout. And it will always look like a big fish. The little fish is there. That little fish has been a part of my life for five years now. Let's get back to the arches of Urgchek. The arches of Urgchek. You know, I keep uh, trying to find place names. So I got this, this political map. And the place I'm talking about is right here. There's this place called Chenachene. There's another map I wanted to show you. This one gives you the term Erg Check. Erg Check! Let's do it. Let's, let's get all Erg Checky. So, as you can see, I don't really know what that means. You've got Erg Tanes Roofed. Okay, so these are some areas that are going across the Algerian land. And there's more. There's Tassilis. There's Tenezuft. So you got Tenezuft here and Tenezuft here. So we're looking over here, though. We've got Chenechene. We've got this other little thing called Borge Flive Saint Marie. Saint Morin. Okay, so we've got place names here. And we do have roads. So this is the place right here that I want to talk about. And I want to show you, and I've shown many times, and this is not as nice, is it? Tells us where the airport is. It's over here by the sea. Or There's no airports out here. We can look here at the actual land. And actually, the place I'm talking about is here. There's some other stuff going on. It's Chega, way over here. There's some stuff going on. But what I want to show you right now is the Erg Czech. Now, near Chega, you can see already some of the ancient quarrying that was going on. You can see the activity that was happening with the straight lines going through all parallel and the 45 degree angle lines that go against it. I mean, look at that line there. It goes through, but it keeps going and it ends up continuing over here, even though there's like some kind of a river in the middle of it. What's older, the river or the line? So there's a lot to look at, and this is not where to look at it. I probably would go with a Satellite Star Pro, which gives me Apple Maps. And the truth is, is that you can also use Google Earth Pro, and that'll give you some actual photographs. But what I believe I'm looking at here near Chega, and that's is that a is that the airport? That must be an airstrip. And if it's not an airstrip, then it's just I don't know. It's not a train station. That's not train tracks. It's got to be an airstrip. And there's a military base here. The military are controlling this. They got a lot of stuff going on over there. So what I really want to show you is not Chega, but around Chega there's a lot of quarrying going on. Lots of quarries and stuff. So when you look at this notch, the Chega is inside. Down below is Mali. So this is all Mali, and if you know me, I've looked at this for a while, and you can find some roads going underneath these sand dunes. But let's go over here to Algeria, and as you follow the border down, you see these two lines of, I would say, sand dune. Not sure why they're like that, but I don't want to get into it. There might be a ridge. But inside that area is the so-called arches of Urgcheg, and... I've joked that they look like nipples. I mean, that to me looks like a nipple. All right, let's just talk about it. You know, I'm a dude, so I see nipples. But up here, you have an arch. And I actually usually don't start this way. I start down here. And by the border, you've got the beginning of these these crisscross lines here and up here. You see it again and again. There's a lot of little roads going through here. I guess I was looking at this and how it turns into these yards. 
and it goes under the sand, but it notches right there. It does. It notches. You can see an, a 90 degree turn. It, it goes like this and then like this. So you got a, this ancient wall or because it's got two ridges, sometimes I do call that a canal. And how it would have been a canal is it's holding water up high in a wall format. I assume that they didn't have to have a machine running water through here. Now here it kind of turns into more of a wall. So I'm not going to say anything about that because it's too much trouble. But that wall comes up and and it maybe it's a canal. You kind of see two sides to it, right? But you follow it up. I don't know if it's a wall or a canal. It gets pretty skinny. You can see the breaches coming through it. So you know it's old. Look at all those breaches. Are they breaches or are they planned? Those look like geological breaches. But you're still following this line, this wall up here. It cuts underneath this riverbed. So the riverbed demolished it. The water, whatever that is, demolished it. I don't know where that... That's not the Taman Reset River, as far as I know. But whatever flood event happened there demolished it. We're at one of the first places I wanted to show you, which is this quarry field. You can look and see parallel lines way out here, right? But when you get in, you see a more geometric system going on where you get parallel lines going east-west, parallel lines going north-south, and you get the diagonal, which, what does that make it? It makes it impossible to be unnatural. A sign in Utah talking about a weathering event that happens that creates what's called needles. They claim they separate very parallel. Like, is it being exaggerated? Or are we seeing the real thing here? You don't see this picture in the textbooks. You see it on signs in the park. I went over there and looked, and I got this off a sign from Utah Canyonlands and it's trying to describe the type of erosion or weathering that occurs in a grand scale to turn a plateau into needles. Now with that in mind this is really the same thing but when you look at this you can't believe in your heart that these lines are natural because these lines are so parallel and they go in three different directions. You can go into the busy part here. You can see the parallel lines going down tw from the top down 45 degrees. Maybe a little bit different from 45. Almost 45 degrees. And they're going in the wrong direction from my experience. So let's just say that this is a different set of cavemen or whoever did this. And these parallel lines, you can see this set going from here to here and parallelly, and they're not perfect. Then you see some that are going east and west. However, you've got a third set of lines coming through here. And that third set is going up and down, north-south. Not perfectly, but you've got three different directions here. And this, this place is vast. I mean, let's measure it real quick just to see the distance. It's 2.3 miles long. And the most interesting place, in my opinion, is actually over here at the top. Uh, actually, this is interesting. And this is just insane. And it looks looks like they're like planning on weathering, planning on long-term erosion to help the process. What were they doing? Were they looking for something, cutting through this rock and searching for certain minerals? Or were they actually doing some mining and gathering ore, but they didn't want to gather it from the same place? How high are they? Well, it looks like they're pretty flat in, in, a, in a general way. A little bit of bumps, a little bit of mountains and mounds, but you don't see major quarrying here. And if you ask the question, what do you mean by major quarrying? Well, I want to show you one picture here. Oh, give me a second. I'm going to pull it up right now. I got it right in front of me. Where, where, where? There it is. Here it is. Okay, so this picture here shows those same lines. Now, I didn't get here yet, but it's the same place. And over here, that's quite different. So you've got your stripped yards where they actually removed some of the material. That's where that's a quarry field where they removed material in the after 
But in the before, it doesn't look like they removed material. Yeah, maybe carved out with the lines, but did they remove the material? Let's take a look at it one more time. Now, it's very golden, very beautiful. And there's a couple places like this here. That's one of them. The other one is down here. So if we want to go back and figure out where we are, when I say Chega, I'm saying Mauritania. When I say Little Fish, I'm saying Mali. This line here, created by natural... No, that's not natural. That line there, when you get down here in Algeria, this is Algeria. And when you get into Algeria down here, you've got all this stuff going on. Now, the first thing that I'll take you to is up here. We just looked at up here. That's the place we just looked at. But if we go down to here, we also find similar activity. So this is not just two and a half miles. This is a lot more than two and a half miles. But that's the weird thing. We've got this weird wall. And I'm going to zoom in on this. And we follow it to the nearest sand dune. It goes under the sand dune. Comes down here. So we've got ourselves a, a wall going on. Now, if we back out, we can see we've got an arc. It's a pretty simple arc. Here we've got a 90 degree angle. <sighs> I don't know how that's proven in, uh, what do you call it? The old uh, geological timeline. I don't know how you can how you can justify that in geology. I call it a canal. It turned. It, it's a it's a ninety degree angle. So this canal turns ninety degrees. Is that natural? I call it a canal. It could just be a wall, but it, to me, it looks like it's more of a canal. When I see these two parallel lines following each other across a desert, I call it a canal. Now, I don't know what was going on. We go under the sand dune, we get over here, and we got a couple things going on. It goes this way, you got something going down there, but we're going to follow it back up under the sand dune, go back up, and you hit this line. That looks like a wall. Why? Because there's only one of them. That's a wall. What was it separating? Was it separating a yard? And then we get the canal. The canal has something going on up here straight, but we don't see it continuing forever. What we see is this this line kind of turns into a canal, two line wall. So we're following that. Whoops, now I gotta fix that. Hold on. Wow, five thumbs up. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so there's the arc. It turns into kind of a canal with two lines. It's definitely more of a canal up here with the two lines and the, the there's lots of breaches, but I think that's old. There's lots of breaches. You've got other lines going on here, okay? Look at that one. But that's not the one I'm going to follow. I'm going to follow the arches. Oh, wait. Maybe I am going to get up there. What I really wanted to follow was over here. Follow that. It kind of arches. It kind of arcs. It kind of gets rough. It goes straight up. It turns into an arc. And then it gets rough again. Now, if you look at the whole thing you see this arc and it looks like it's almost a wall that separates land and inside is the place I just showed you with all the work going on all the lines quarrying mining removing dirt breaking up the plateau all right five thumbs up now this arch is quite prominent and then you get to I it looks like a nipple kind of it's like a nipple and then you get to a sharp point here there's other lines cutting through in the middle of the desert in an area that only has one place name okay now this is the nipple i'm talking about and you have yourself some parallel lines in there something's going on in there but you follow the line up and that's where this other place is and i just got this sent to me on twitter and what I think is, this is another, I mean, you've got these straight lines going through, and they're in three directions, geo, geometric, not, not just two lines. Like this, you see two lines, but I'm looking for the other one. Where is it? Over here? Oh, there it is. This is the one. This is the one. This is the, it's going, uh, look at those parallel lines going across this plateau. That's the one from the meme I just sent you. They're not perfectly parallel. Look at that. 
Look at those lines. They're like, well, we missed, but we're we're going to keep on going. So they come up here and they almost touched the previous line. Do they know that they're messing up? Who did this? Is it ancient humans? Is it giants? Erd check Algeria. Check it out for yourself, you know. But let's look at the big picture here. The arches, the arcs. One goes through here. You can kind of see other arches. It's like they didn't make straight lines. They made arches. Why make a straight line when you can make an arch? I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know who did it. Were they giants? Were they aliens? Was it UFOs? Were they mining for gold? Now, there is a lot of other stuff, but I just showed you everything I want to try to show you. You can find ancient roads in here. You can find ancient lines that look like maybe canals. There's Playa Lakes. Look at this. Look at that. This is back to where I'm trying to show you. We were just here. We have Arch, and then it looks like it's got a line, right? So it's a 90-degree perpendicular outburst for another arch. What's going on here? Could that be some type of ancient mega, megalithic terraforming? So we've got an arch. It hits this arch. This arch goes around like that, and it hits this arch. And this arch goes around. It's a big one, but it still hits this arch. Tell me what type of geographic or geology you can explain that explains that. I don't know. Okay, now I'm going to remove the the whatchamacallit, uh, spam. I, I'm just going to block this guy. Put user, hide user on this channel. Okay, fine. So everything he does or she does is hidden. Well, these arches aren't very perfect. They're not beautiful. They're not like the, but look at that. There's the nipple. So you've got an arch that goes this way and then makes that nipple and then makes a new arch. Not perfect, not beautiful. Like a hanging breast without a nipple and then in the middle of that arch you've got another new arch and then in the middle of that you got a new one and then in the middle of that you got a new one and then it goes under sand you don't know what's going on over here you got some type of uh, you got a line going across there there's been a lot of people talking about this area and I'm telling you I'm the first person to have discovered it nobody else discovered this find your love was hidden sorry find your love that's not what we're here for today today all right i think i'm done i'm pretty much done i mean we can talk about other stuff if you want to look at the big picture i don't have a lot of questions from my, my listeners my nine watching now please give me a question nug nuts thank you for your statement we are always learning new things about our past, finding evidence of civilizations more advanced than we believed. Now, that's a good point. Now, let's talk about advanced. Advanced doesn't mean that you had chips and smartphones and computers. What it means is, is that they had an organized way of doing work, and they did it, and it was large in, in scale. Look at that. That's a canal right there. There's a lot of canals going through here. I think that's a canal. If that's not one, then right next to it. You can follow it down. You can follow them going towards the ocean. This is the ancient Taman Reset. So I'm pretty much done with what I wanted to talk about, which was the Erg Check. Let's go back and look at it one more time. Erg Check. Where is it? It's up here at the top near where Mauritania and Mali and Algeria all come together in one place. Wouldn't you love to stand right there? But even if you did, I mean, yeah, if you stand here or here or here, you can go ahead and say you stood on three countries at the same time because nobody's going to get to this one spot. But if you can get on any point nearby it, let's say within one mile, I think, Okay, let's say within a fifth of a mile, you can claim you've been on top of three countries because they don't even know. Nobody goes out here and measures it. Wow, this is, where am I, what is this? Okay, I'm, I'm very close. You know, that's the other thing about geography, geometry, right? Is no, how to, no matter how close you get, it looks like it could be the same place. 
But you're looking at all this stuff going on, and you're like, okay, that's, I don't recognize that. What, what is that? That is that the berm? So we also have those. That right there, that, I want to call that the knife. And the reason why is because it looks like the knife that's in the Rashad structure. But we've got this weird berm thing going on. What's that all about? Who knows? That could be all man-made. It's not that big. So let's get back a little bit and get to where I wanted to show you again over here. So again, you just zoom out. Mauritania, Mali, Algeria. That point right there. When you zoom in, you go down a little bit and you get to this point where the sand starts. And you get to see the arches right here. And you get to see these weird megalithic quarry fields right here. And I'm seeing your comments, SP. Thank you for that. And up here, you can also get to a quarry field that's quite unbelievable. And I don't even think that if you go there in real life, you're going to see that. Look at that one line going across there. What caused that? Is that natural? Or is that part of the whole thing? That looks like a ridge. I mean, come on. Look at those lines right there. I feel like I'm visiting some ancient thing. Yeah, this is amazing indeed. And I had somebody on Twitter show me a picture of it. I'm like, wait, they showed me this part right up here. And how do you find it? You follow the nipple. You go up to the nipple and you go up here. It's right here. This is actually probably one of my favorite parts. And you can see it so clearly. It hasn't been quarried yet. Not like the other places that I showed before out here. Let's go over here to the other side of Algeria where it meets Libya and we can stay inside Algeria and I'm looking right here and there's this place here that I call the Matrix Mountains those are crazy you have to turn them but they do look like a matrix in fact if I look at the picture that I shared it's right here to me it looks like the matrix and I really found out that there's a lot of uh, what's called I forgot the new word. It's a new term. Let's get rid of that. But right near these mountains, which are here, you go out and you get into Algeria out here. Look at this. Now, this looks like it's been worked. You see some sand coming over it and filling up these crevices. But when you get in here, you're going to see a lot more. Look at this place. This place has been worked. So this is a stripped quarry field. And you here already you can see the triangles. Lines going east and west. Wait, let's make it north-south. Okay, so lines going from here to here. Straight, lines going up and down. Lines going this direction. You've got triangles everywhere. Don't tell me that's not a triangle. So why do you have these lines all making triangles? And down here, well, that's a different project, isn't it? This project looks like it's a completely separate project from what happened over here. These triangles here look like they were going in one direction. Now you look at that line. Look at this line right here. That one here. So these are stripped quarry fields. Look at this stuff. This is stuff I haven't even looked at yet. I like to look at it and make the shadows make sense. If I get it just right, it might look like something that you can you know, come to terms with from, from your standpoint. You can see the lines going across there. This was a, a stripped quarry field. You got all sorts of stuff going on here. It's all been stripped. And when you compare that to what I just showed you over there, and you see these little squares. Okay, it's kind of, I want to get you to this part. That's where I'm showing you over here on the right. I just showed you that. Storm Run Gaming, thank you. Cougar B, thank you. SP, thank you. Brennan Hartman, thank you. This quarrying is all over the Sahara. And you see these projects. Let's get it north. That's north. And when I say that's north, of course what I mean is our standard north is at the top and south is at the bottom and over here is west. And you can see this whole area has been worked right there. All the way down here. Let's go down here and start from the beginning. Okay, that looks kind of natural, right? There's some lines here that are interesting. Look at these lines. Why are they parallel? Is that natural geology that did that? 
Well, Storm Run Gaming, the big news is that I got my name shout out over on the Joe Rogan show. I don't know if you ever heard about that. I did put the link on the Twitter. Ch- check out my Twitter, Stig em Up. S T I G, that's my name. M Up, E M U P. Stig em Up is my Twitter handle. Got a nice shout out on Joe Rogan. And by the way, the guy that gave the shout out was Jimmy from Bright Insight. So I'm a little happy, you know, because I was not getting the attention I thought I deserved, having been to the Rashad structure twice. And I have been through some crazy stuff over there. And I do see Cougar B. She definitely pays attention to the, what is the name of it? Hold on. I always forget the name. Dar is one of the names. Let's go to the Twitter site real quick and see what's going on. So Twitter... If you go to my profile and go down, you're going to see a video I did here. This is uh, actually the thumbnail, M. Yert. This place right here is crazy. And you can even see from this low-res image that I grabbed that it's an ancient... I'm sorry, Cougar B, I know you think that looks like it's a foundation of a city. It looks to me like it's the foundation of an immense mining operation so and if you get in there i can't get in there you can click the youtube channel but i want to get back over here we can go there just send me a chat and we'll go there here look at this now when you look at this and you see what looks like natural rivers or river beds going through but then you have these straight lines practically perpendicular and look at it, it goes all the way over there that just doesn't make geological sense so you've got these parallel straight lines coming from the riverbed. And over here, more stuff's going on. That, okay, now that looks like over there by Chad. And it's interesting. It really is interesting. I don't have any reason to believe this is natural. But how it was created, that's a different question in my my head. Look at that. When you get even closer, you can see the lines. They really machine this whole area. I am back in the States right now. I'm in California. I just told Jimmy I'll meet you in Phoenix if you want to have a chat. He did give me the shout out over at the Joe Rogan Show. So if there was any animosity about Jimmy, let's forget it. He, he, look, he gave Nikki Anna Jones a shout out about her channel on one of his videos. That got her about 6,000 subs. 6,000 ain't going to cut the mustard. I need to do better than that. So uh, the fact that he called me out on Joe Rogan proves that he's he's not being passive aggressive. He gave me the shout out and I haven't thanked him for that. I'll probably get an email and thank him next. He sees his email, the one on his channel. Well, the water, the water thing is one thing, but uh, I don't know about cutting through this bedrock. That looks like a canal. That looks like a canal. That looks like a canal. But and then and look at the logic here. The canal's cutting, 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 and then it gets to this point where there's another area that it can go through, so it stops cutting. I don't know if that area here is that a canal still. I don't believe this area was covered in water. Okay, and I always want to give you reference, so I back out and show you where we are. We're almost north. It's kind of tough to make sure. Let's get north. And then we'll back out. Wait, let's get 2D. And then we back out. And you see two two parallel canals turn into one canal. Look at that. Oh, my God. It goes all the way through. And then you see it start up again over here. What the F is going on there? So this whole area is ancient. Look at it. It keeps on going. You see this straight line. Come on. SP. Okay, look, if you're trying to message me, just message my Facebook or my, my email, my Gmail. It's my name at gmail.com. Or just comment on the video and we'll get it figured out. If, if I forget to talk to you later, you can comment on this video when it's, when it's not live streaming anymore. Look at that line. It just keeps going and going and going. It's like, how old is that thing? Oh, look, it just keeps going and going. That is quite the line right there. Oh, and look, more quarry fields. They're everywhere. I can show you this by the Grand Canyon. I can show you this by the Grand Canyon, but the line keeps going. That is a major line right there. Let's let's get that line measured. 
Let's measure it. Okay, so I don't see it over here. I see it right here. Maybe about there. I don't know. Let's measure it and see how long that is. Let's go from here to... Well, I still see it to there. Let's just go to Janet. 57 miles. 57 miles, stopping in Janet. Look, it even continues. And then you see some other interesting ridges. That's a straight line ridge. It's all pretty good. It's all pretty good. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your comments. Shorelines? I don't really see shorelines. Look at that. You see a ridge, though. It goes over to about here. And then uh, I see another straight line going this way. Not to be confused with the, the Google Earth artifact, which is right there. Don't, don't pay attention to that. I mean, I'm not trying to prove anything live. Look at these. Are those canals? That, what is that? That looks just like over by the Rashad structure. So these types of mountains are interesting to me, especially when they're all lined up. One, two, three. How many lines do you have here? One, two, three, four. You get over here and you have one, two, three, four, and maybe five. Over here you have just two. But over here you have more of these straight lines. Do you really think that's natural? Do you think that it's possible that the entirety of... Africa could have been created. Look at this one. That right there, those those lines right there, they just, they don't add up. What started this video? Yeah, I don't see any shorelines over there. What started this video was actually over here. So if you weren't here for the beginning, go right over here. It's called the Arches of Ergcheg. We've got one, two, the nipple, three, four, five, another nipple, another one here i don't know what was going on there ancient quarrying was going on there that's one thing i will gamble money on something was going on over here and it's not just two it's not just two directions it's three directions okay so it's not just two dimensional here you see two dimensions you see a line going these directions. You see lines going these directions. I don't know what made those. I don't know. So that's it, guys. The Arches of Ergcheck in Algeria. I wanted to make sure I gave it a place name. Ergcheck. It's something about this. I don't know what it means. There's other ergs. There's other stuff going on out there. But modern day names don't always go with it. The whole scoop thing is interesting. I don't really... I don't really know what to say about the scoops. I just realized I promised somebody I'd take them to dinner, though. So you know what that means? It means it's probably time to do this.